Daphne had gotten the money out of a locker at the YWCA. It was money she had gotten from Carter's family. $30,000 to leave town. She was still convinced, though, that her Negro blood didn't matter now that Terrell couldn't use it to keep the man she wanted to marry out of the mass race. She was in love and couldn't see for dreaming. Any better than the rest of us, I guess. Because even though we had fought a war to keep the world free, the color line in America worked both ways, and even a rich white man like Todd Carter was afraid to cross it. Don't walk away. Don't... Wait. Wait. the $800 that I owe you. And thank you for protecting her. You have some pictures. I'd put you back in the race. I'm gonna need you to do something for me, too. No, you'll have no trouble with the police. It's a promise. Thank you. Mr. Rollins, just so you know, I do love her. You want me to walk inside? I dropped her off at her brother's apartment, a fourplex on Denker Street. She had told me a story on the way home like a sinner who wanted to confess. Her name was Ruby Hanks from Lake Charles, Louisiana. And I suppose all she really wanted was a place to fit in. A few days later, my conscience got the best of me, and I went by her place to bring back my half of her money. I was kind of excited about seeing her again. But when I got there, she and her brother had picked up and gone. 